Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. So here I am today to do a video to tell you guys how I package all my prints for my Etsy store. As some of you probably know, I've got a new Etsy store out. You can check it out in the link below. Uh, it's got all my new prints from all the kitty series that I've been doing, as well as all my books that I've got available for sale. Please check it out. Now onto the packing. So I like to keep it pretty simple, but I also want to keep it nice and durable just so the postman doesn't damage it, hopefully, uh, and it doesn't get damaged in transit in any way. So when the people who are purchasing the prints receive them in the mail, they are nice and crisp and fresh and new and undamaged and beautiful. And that's the way we want it. And that's what we're going to make sure happens here. So it's pretty easy. You only need a few things, uh, or at least this is the way I do it. If you've got a different way of doing it, awesome. I'd love to hear how you guys do it in the comments too. So be sure to tell me if you've got different ways or you think I'm doing things wrong, uh, or if you think I could do something uh, a little bit better or improve on things. So uh, anyway, let's get on to it. First, the most obvious thing, the prints themselves. Uh, it goes without saying, they're purchasing prints. They want these suckers in the mail when they get them. It's gonna be useless packing stuff without them. Secondary, you want some cardboard backing. Um, some people use mount board, some people use, uh, I've heard, masonite. Um, I just like to use a nice durable cardboard. Luckily, I work in a store which has a factory out the back, so we have tons of cardboard. So I generally just steal it up, cut it up to A4 size so it's good to go. I'll just have a nice stack ready to go. Next to that, some cellophane bags. Uh, these are just A4 bags which I bought online through eBay. I hope you can see that. Um, pretty cheap. I think I only paid about 10 bucks for 100 bags. Uh, these are great just for sliding your prints and everything in. Uh, if you're selling original art as well, these are really good just for making sure things are re really protected. Come in really handy at cons too. If you're doing conventions and you want to make sure people's uh, prints and artwork that you're doing for them stays nice and safe while they're at the show, things like this are really handy to have as well. And they're super cheap. So one of the main things, uh, a mailer or a um, postage bag. Uh, I call these a tough bag. I bought these online. I just buy a pack of 50 or 100 uh, from eBay. A uh, pack of 50 cost me about $14 uh, with free shipping. Only took a few days to arrive. Uh, so these are probably the most important thing. A couple of little extra things, uh, stickers, business cards, uh, post-it notes, things like that. Uh, I know I love it when I buy prints and uh, original art online and I get lots of little surprises in my package. So I wanna make sure that I share that same generosity with you guys and make sure you guys get some fun little goodies too. Last but not least, return address labels. Uh, this is luckily uh, leftover I had from the Kickstarter, um, but I do just print these things out onto uh, sticker labels, nice and easy, chuck them in the printer. Um, very cost effective. I probably will look into getting other ones with some designs and stuff on them, uh, maybe through Vistaprint. Uh, this is just what I had left lying around, so I might as well use it. As I mentioned earlier, business cards are super important. Um, if you're selling anything online, or if you're selling anything at all at conventions or whatnot, you've got to have business cards. Uh, mine are quite simple, just a funny little design on the front, and then all my details are on the back there. It makes it nice and easy for people to find me again online uh, if they like my work, uh, if they forgot where they went. Uh, most people like to generally uh, collect business cards, I know I do, so they can always just dig that up, find me online. If they want to get some new prints or some original artwork from me again, it makes it nice and easy. So always have these, uh, and they're super cheap, so don't be afraid to chuck two or three in. So if they've got friends, they can hand them out as well. Uh, it's, it should be a no-brainer. Okay, first thing I like to do with all my prints is sign them. Um, I just sign them on the back. That way they don't get uh, too damaged. Uh, I know sometimes I don't like it when people sign my artwork, but if it's signed on the back, uh, it shows authenticity, uh, and that way they can still frame it if they want to frame it without the image being tainted. Nice and simple. I'm probably going to look at getting some stamps in as well so I can stamp them uh, with like some form of authenticity. I think that'll be really cool rather than just the standard signature. So that's something I'm going to look to in the future as well. Okay, once you know your signature's dry and it's not going to smudge any other prints that are in there, what I like to do, make sure it's sitting tight with the cardboard and just slide it into your cellophane bag. Once that's in there, nice and tight, just throwing in the extra goodies that you need to as well. Stickers, business cards, thank you notes, whatever. One thing I want to do is I want to do little post-it notes that I can put in with all the packages just to say thank you. At the moment, I don't have anything, so probably for a while what I'm going to do is I've got some old Nevermore postcards. So these are blank on the other side, so I'm just going to do a little sketch on there just to say thank you, and that can go in there as well.
we go. Just a nice quick little sketch to say thank you. So in that goes with the bag as well. A few business cards. Just for good measure, a few Nevermore stickers. Maybe they haven't heard of the book, they can check it out. So in that goes, a nice little package. All you gotta do now is seal it. Nice and tight, nothing's getting out of there. That goes into your mailer. Make sure that you put a return address on the back too. Just in case the art doesn't make it to the right address or they're giving you the wrong address or whatever happens, that way you can contact the purchaser again, let them know what happened and then send it back out to them so they're not disappointed. Another little thing I like to do is just to personalize the envelope a little bit just so they know it's from me. Nothing fancy, just a quick signature on the bottom. Now I'm gonna do the address. Fortunately, I can't show you that. Sneaky, sneaky. But that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. This is nice and durable. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I write do not bend on here as well, just so uh, the posting knows that it is fragile uh, and that it can't be bent. But in saying that, it's pretty durable. I can't really bend it a whole lot. Um, that's mostly thanks to the cardboard I use. So try and use something good quality. Don't just get some cheap cardboard. Uh, that way you'll at least know that the package is going to arrive safely uh, and the person who receives it is going to be nice and happy. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm going to be doing some more videos very soon. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this one, please hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, if you want to support me and my bad art habits, you can check me out at Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Chris McQuinlan Art. Or you can just simply check me out on Facebook or Instagram uh, or Twitter or anything else, uh, which is just at Chris McQuinlan Art. Simple, Chris McQuinlan Art. If you like buying art prints and original art, please check out the links below. You can find a link to my Etsy store where you can get all that sorts of cool stuff. If you're interested in commissions, please just email me. Links in below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.